Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to you. Today in the grade 6 for the subject science we are going to continue our lesson from the chapter 6 that is conserving our resources in which we are studying the lesson 1 that is minerals and rocks. Today we are going to continue from the page 322 of the test book. So please open the test book from the page 322 and let's continue our lesson. Before continuing the lesson, let's see the what are the objectives of the today's lesson. So today we are going to see that what is the rock cycle and what is the uh, process of forming rock. Different rocks which are formed, how they are forming and how the rock cycle continues that we are going to see in the today's discussion. With this, I will begin with the today's discussion from the rock cycle. What is the rock cycle? Here, as we all are aware that the, all rocks are made of minerals. The magma bursts to earth's surface in the form of volcano. Heat and pressure deep in earth makes some rocks change to metamorphic rock. Layers of rock get squashed and packed together and gradually harden to form sedimentary rock. The igneous rock gets broken down by weather and the cycle begins again. So here also we can say that like most earth materials, rocks are created and destroyed in cycles. The rock cycle is model that describes the formation, breakdown and reformation of rock as a result of sedimentary, igneous and metamorphic processes. The rock cycle is the process by which rocks of one kind change into rocks of another kind, where we can see that the metamorphic rock is igneous or sedimentary rock that has been heated and squeezed. It can erode into sediment or melt into magma. Here we can see the rock cycle where the magma after cooling you are getting the igneous rock. Whether, uh, after the weathering and erosion you are finding that the sedimentary rock is there. After the sedimentary rock, you can find that heat and pressure gives you metamorphic rock. Also from the igneous rock, you are getting the metamorphic rock here. And from the metamorphic rock, you are getting the, uh, after melting it, you are getting the magma. And from the magma after cooling, you are getting the igneous rock. So this is the circular way by which we can say that this cycle continues from igneous to sedimentary and metamorphic from metamorphic to igneous and sedimentary rocks. So these are the ways by which the rocks are being formed. The rock cycle is continuous in this way. Also we can say that the rock cycle include weathering and erosion, transportation, deposition, compaction and cementation, metamorphism and rock melting. Rocks as we are aware that they are broadly classified into three groups igneous rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. The simplest diagram of the rock cycle which puts the, these three groups in a uh, circle with arrows pointing from igneous to sedimentary and from sedimentary to metamorphic and also from metamorphic to igneous again. So this is the way by which we can see here the diagram here again the another diagram where you can see that the how these rocks are being formed from igneous it is going to form a sediment and from that from igneous you are getting the sedimentary rock from sedimentary rock you are getting the metamorphic rock again this metamorphic rock it melts uh, it forms the magma and this volcanic eruption is giving you the igneous rock so this way the cycle continues also here in another diagram you can see that the formation of rock that is from the igneous rock after weathering and lithification you are getting the sediment and from this sediment you can say that compaction and cementation gives you sedimentary rock whereas the weathering and lithification will give you the igneous rock. So here also from this sedimentary rock when it, uh, it is heated and the pressure is there you are getting the metamorphic rock. Also from the igneous rock you will get after the heat and pressure you are getting the metamorphic rock. 
so this metamorphic rock it is again melting giving you the magma and that magma cools and it gives you the igneous rock so this way the cycle continues so with this we can say that the rock cycle for from the igneous to sedimentary rock and from sedimentary to metamorphic from metamorphic to igneous these are the process by which different uh, rocks are being formed here and different processes like here from the igneous you are finding that weathering and erosion that gives you the sedimentary rock and also the weathering and erosion that gives you from the metamorphic rock to igneous rock so this is the way by which the chemical reaction is also going to be happen your heat pressure and chemical reaction is giving you the sedimentary rock to metamorphic rock this metamorphic rock again it is melting giving you magma and from the magma you are going to get the after the solidification when this magma melts after the solidification you will find that there is a igneous rock so this way we are going to continue with the cycle that is from igneous to sedimentary sedimentary to metamorphic metamorphic to igneous rocks and the cycle continues here so with this we are going to uh, conclude here the lesson of minerals and rocks and i will be back with the new video with the new lesson till then thank you and goodbye